When we talk about a circle, we need to talk about a formula. Horses are very specific animals and they like having a plan and they like knowing where they're going. When I execute a circle, I break my circle into four points. Now, depending on the size of the circle and the training on my horse, that dictates the number of points that I place on my circle. So for today, we're gonna to work in a 15 meter circle. And in this 15 meter circle, we're gonna talk about four points. I find if I put any more than four points on the circle, sometimes uh, people get overwhelmed. So we just need to break it into small pieces that people can remember and handle, and then we progress from there. I like to think about a clock face. So noon, three, six, and nine. I don't care about the numbers. I just care about the points. I like to use the clock face because that gives people that visual and helps them execute their circle with greater success. When I place the four points on my geometry, it's my responsibility to hit the four points. When I hit my four points that I've placed, if my points are in the correct location, then I ensure the geometry of my circle and I actually ride a circle. When I use those four points, I'm responsible for getting my horse to those four points. And if my points are placed in the correct spot, I am at a greater chance of having a successful circle. When I ask people about how they plan a circle, because we need to have a plan. So I, I like to have people be very specific. And as soon as we're specific, our circle improves and our horse's work ethic also improves. So if we look at the circle right here, we're gonna put four points on it. It's very important that we only keep one point ahead of us in our sights. Now, your horses go where your eyes go. So it's very important that we train our eyes to go where we specifically want our horse. It's like riding a bike. When I turn my bike, I don't look at my handlebars and turn my bike to the left. My eyes lead me through the turn. That ensures accurate geometry and we then have a plan for ourselves and our horse. It keeps riders engaged and it keeps them thinking about what's next because we need to keep one step ahead of our horse. It's really important that we only have one point ahead of us at all times because we don't want to bite off too much geometry for our horse or ourselves. It's really important that we know where we're going. My number one rule is where are we going? And number two is what do we want it to look like? So any task that I approach, I have a specific mapping system I use and plot my points. So when we look at this circle, we're gonna put four points on it. And it's very important that we follow a plan and create this formula. So if I do three circles, we have three cones set out, I want to recreate three circles with the same formula because that's how I'm going to start teaching my horse what I expect and what I would like him to do in my circle. So my point number one is right here. Now this point's very specific. It's what I call my entry point. If you do not hit your entry point on approach for your circle, your geometry is already behind the eight ball. So I want to make sure this point is set. There is no reference point. It's my responsibility to set this radius from my entry point to the center of my circle. I want to then replicate that radius all the way around my circle to my four points. So as soon as my horse covers up this point, point number one, my eyes track ahead to point number two. And point number two is halfway in between these two cones. So with my eyes set on that point, then I track up to point number three. Point number two, we have a reference point. It's halfway between the cones. Point number four is right here, halfway between these two cones. In order to finish our geometry and close our circle, we must come back through point number one to close it off. If we don't come back through point number one, 
we do not complete our circle. I'm very specific when I look at my points. I pick a divot, a little tiny rock or a dirt clump, and I focus my eyes on that point. I want to run that point down the center of my ho horse's body. So I'm like a needle in a record track right now, and I want to feel in between my legs and hit my points. So number one is training those eyes. So what I have riders do is call their points out, one. This helps their brain think about their points and organize their planning, two. And I want riders to call them out as they hit their point. Three, I notice my eyes are continually tracking. Four, and then I must go back through one. This activity helps keep riders engaged in their riding. By having a plan, you get to be that leader that your horse really wants you to be. Okay, so Haley, when you get to that point number one, Let's call it out. Okay, so you have one point ahead of you and you're thinking about number one is where am I going? So I just really want you to be responsible for those hitting those points. Okay, so where's your point number one? Okay, good. So let's call them out nice and loud when you run them over. We'll just walk one and then we'll trot a little bit. This looks good. Okay, so call them out just as you run them over. So just as you shift your eyes. So that was too early. There you go, perfect. Outside leg. One. A little bit more walk. You can push your hands forward a little bit. Two, good job. A little bit of outside leg. There, that's really good timing. Okay, so whenever you feel like you're ready, let's pick up trot. Just really think forward with her, Haley. Push your hands forward a little more. There. Switch your diagonal. There you go. Cool. Yeah, you're going to count all the way back to one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit more circle and, and we're going to add another shape to it. We're going to add straight line. Equal radius, we're working on two geometric shapes, we're working on circles and straight lines. My number one concern is where are you going? So we need four points 
So it's really important when you leave the entry point of your first circle, your eyes track up and they look at the entry point of your next circle because that is your next landmark you have to get to in order to start your next circle. Okay, so you're a little far away there. Think quarter line. Good job. Outside leg, outside leg, nice and straight. Perfect. Hit your entry point. One, two, three, four, and one. Good job. One, two, three, four, one. Then eyes up, next entry point, one. Three, four, one, eyes on next entry point, circle number three, two, three, four, 